Hello, and welcome to this short video focusing on how easy it is to not only set parameters in a single Simicode system, but if you needed to change multiple parameters at the same time on multiple Simicodes, we can do that very easily in the portal software as well. My name is John Burns, an application consultant in the Electrical Products Group here at Siemens. And we're going to go into that portal software and just show you how easy it is to do. So here we are in the portal software where I've already created a project to support this application of changing multiple parameters on multiple semicodes at the same time. So let's go into the project view. And here you'll see I've got multiple semicodes. I got three semicodes in my configuration. And the goal here is to first change parameters, say in the pump one configuration, and then make those same changes in pumps two and pump three as well. Say for instance, those three motors got replaced out as larger motors, and now we need to make an adjustment uh, because of that change. So here I'm looking at the pump one parameters, and you'll see the current set current is currently at a 0.3 amp. So let's change that to say, for instance, 0.75 amps. And the trip class, let's extend that to a class 20 because of the application. So now we want to reflect those same changes in the pump 2 and pump 3 configurations. And the way we can do that quickly is using this expert list function. So within expert list, it gives us more of a, a graphical, a non-graphical viewing of all the semicode parameters. The pencil indicates what parameters have actually been changed. So you can see the set current has been changed and the trip class has been changed. So to be able to transfer those new parameters to also pump two and pump three, we're gonna use a function within the expert list called mass engineering. And that's this button up here on top. So we click on mass engineering. What we're gonna do is it has a source file, which is how did you get in here, which was through the parameter page for pump one. So pump one is designed to be now defined to be the source file. What do you wanna change? We want to copy all the parameters, say for instance, that have been changed. And where do we want to copy them to? Well, we want to copy them to pumps two and pumps three. And we do that via groups. So group one has now been assigned to have pumps two and pump three in it based on these checkboxes. So the target then becomes a group or group one. So this configuration now basically takes the parameters that have been changed in pump one and transfers them to group one, which is now consisting of pump two and pump three. So when I click copy, that change has now just been made. And if I close out of here, and down below I have the parameter pages opened already for pump two and pump three. So if I look at pump two, you'll see that set current has now been modified to a 0.75 as well, and a class 20. And if I come to pump three, that one also has been now changed to a 75 and a class 20. So just that quickly using the expert list and more specifically the mass engineering function, we can change multiple parameters on multiple semicodes very quickly within the TIA portal software. Once again, my name is John Burns, an application consultant for the electrical products group here at Siemens. If you'd like to learn more about Simicode or any of the control products, please visit us at www.usa.siemens.com backslash controls. Thanks for watching. Siemens, ingenuity for life.